NBC Television Network. Introducing a high-performance luxury sedan made the Mazda way. High-performance luxury sedans traditionally ask you to pay a pretty dear price. Well, that's not the Mazda way. Mazda's all-new 929 has world-class luxury appointments. It's amazingly quiet, solid riding, and actually outperforms those guys. Now there's less standing between you and a car this good. About $8,000 less. This is the Mazda way. There's more to it than meets the eye. The crunch of wheat holds a sweet surprise. Raisin in the blood. Kellogg's raisin squares. It's one of life's sweet surprises. That wholesome wheat turns sweet inside. Raisin in the blood. Kellogg's raisin squares. There's more to it than meets the eye. Kellogg's raisin squares. And apple cinnamon squares. There is a world just beyond now where reality rides a razor-thin seam between fact and possibility. Where the laws of the present collide with the crimes of tomorrow. Patrolling these vast outlands is a new breed of lawman. Guarding the fringes of society's frontiers, they are known simply as highwaymen. And this is their story. Did I have a choice? Yeah, you could have played it smart. You didn't have to get involved. You got something to tell me? No, it's none of your business. Why'd you sell out? Is that what you think happened? It's the only explanation. No, it's just the most obvious. You got a better one? That's not why I'm here. Well, why are you here? To kill you. General, I don't want to shoot you. Don't worry about it, Highway. You won't live long enough to shoot me. That's for breaking the law, partner. And our friendship. You just gunned him down in cold blood. What makes you think so? You just saw a direct visual translation of his brainwaves. I mean, that's the whole point of the digital tap. We're seeing what he's seeing. Oh, I believe he's seeing it all right, because that's what he wants us to see. He's lying through his teeth. These people are, are taught to lie. They're taught to avoid interrogation through diversion. You should know that from your CIA past. I know what I'm doing. Do you? Mr. Minetti wants results. Please don't turn that adjustment. Digicane in large amounts can be lethal. 
Doc, you said there was no way that this clown could lie to us under the influence of this crap. I'm telling you, he's lying. And I say he's not. Really? What would you do if I told you that the guy you just saw on the screen who's blown away, we've got him under surveillance right now? I would find that very hard to believe. I mean, it would take a man of great amount of resistance to... Please, please. You're giving him too much solution. Just put on your machine and your recorder, Doc. Mr. Wheeler, tell us about the witness, George Kramer. We have less than 10 hours to transform this man's face before he arrived at his new destination, the custody of the federal marshals. Let's go to work. They changed Kramer's face, of course, of course. That's why I, I couldn't find him. I warned you, with the dosage of serums you're giving him, he could hallucinate. No, 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 this is real. This is what they do with the witness protection program. Is what's, what's, what's happening? His vital signs are dropping. We're losing him. Doc, we're losing him. Do something. Mr. Siska, you're looking at his memory. I can't save him. I can't save him. You must. He's our most important witness. You must let me turn down the solution or we'll lose him. No, no. He's giving us what we need in order to find Kramer. This cadaver was donated to us by the United States government. A field agent whose last wishes was that his body be donated to science and the advancement of medicine. We'll now begin our first dissection of a human body. Remove the sheets, please. Hold on. I'm a federal marshal. And just what is the meaning of this? For reasons I can't reveal, this woman does not believe that her husband is dead. You'll understand if we allow her to verify his death. Of course, Marshal. That's my husband. He's dead. I can't believe it. I mean, I'm, I'm seeing it here on the screen, but he... He really is dead, isn't he? I'm not talking about the man on the screen. I'm referring to Mr. Wheeler. You've killed him. Yes, sir. Get up here right away. Yes, sir. What should I do about the, the doctor? Let him go. I'll leave him right where he is. Yes, sir. We'll, uh, we're home free. The witness they had against you died. Mr. Kramer and his armed guard are on the scramble line, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'll put him right. Hello. Mr. Kramer, I want you to know that everything is going as planned. Is your family all right? Yes, sir, I suppose so. Under the uh, circumstances. Then understand that your safety is secured. Admiral, I don't think you know these people. They'll get me. They'll find some way. Not a chance, Mr. Kramer. We've got everything planned out. Tomorrow, after your testimony, all of your problems are over. Tomorrow's a long way off, especially when you're dealing with Minetti. But I thank you, sir. message was life and death. What's it all about? Dan Wheeler. He's dead. What happened? We found the body this morning. There were signs of electrode burns on his temples. Meaning? We suspect electrochemical interrogation. Come again? It's brain sweeping. Using electro and chemical stimulation combined with neurovisual opticals, digitally reproduced. 
in my native tongue. A dream machine. Super high tech. Whatever you're thinking can be seen by others on a monitor. Very kinky. And very lethal. With increased dosage, you eventually tell the truth. Or you die. Who invented this nasty telly? The Russians? I'm afraid it was us. But I can assure you, it was used as a tool for psychiatric medicine. You tell that to Dame Wheeler's wife and children. Gentlemen, that's exactly why you're here. We can't afford any more casualties. So what's that got to do with us? You two are the only other marshals involved in bringing Kramer to the relocation program. I've prepared these scenarios. Prepared what? Lies. They're carefully constructed from the truths about your most recent missions. This story is directed so close to the truth, I'm sure it will confuse their so-called dream machine. Did Dan Wheeler have this nifty little helper? Jetto, if you follow instructions, you won't even need this. In there, you'll find two tickets to Cabo San Lucas. Where? Jetto, it's a wonderful little Mexican fishing village where the two of you will stay until the Minetti trial is over. We're afraid some of Minetti's boys will grab one of you two. Oh, come on. Everybody knows exactly where Minetti rules his roost. I say we get in there, we give him a dose of his own medicine. I say you're leaving town. Immediately. I've never run away from a fight in my life. End of discussion. Lots of activity. Sure is. Goodbye, gentlemen. I saw it. A big operation going down. They're leaving us out. I think we have a big problem up here. You better get somebody on there real fast. Okay, right now. okay thanks. Good. Ms. Winsor, our last piece of precaution. What is this? Your very own travel plans. Me? I'm not going anywhere. I'm staying right here and directing Kramer's protection. Remember when we said there were only two living persons involved in the rescue and protection of George Kramer? Well, that's not exactly true. I can take care of myself. I know, but it's going to be in Hawaii. Do you see? You're going to be responsible for her until after the trial. She'll be safe, sir. I don't believe this. Believe it. Wait a minute, Come I... on, boss. Can't you see when you're not wanted? Oh. You know, maybe I do deserve a break. Now, that's the right attitude. Because, like it or not, you were in for a holiday. <laughs> the Highwayman. Ace is the place. Hey, Gene, can you give me a hand here? Be right with you, John. Thanks. Let me tell you, Gene's my favorite helpful hardware person. She knows everything. How to fix stuff, what tools to use, the right kind of paint to buy. Hey, there's nothing she doesn't know. So how can I help you today, John? I just got a couple jobs. <laughs> well, nothing we can't handle. Let's start with the toggle bolts. Toggle bolts? Ace is the place. She knows just what to do and how to do it. Hey, let me tell you, Ace is a place for me. Chevy S10 invites you to own the street with the biggest engine ever offered in a compact pickup. The most V6 power and torque available in a compact truck. And a price to make your heart beat faster than ever. The heartbeat of America. That's today's Chevy truck. Now's when I need it. A little bit of hope feels so good. I can almost taste it. As the waitress who saves a potentate and becomes a diplomat, falls in love, starts a revolution, and gets it in the end. Beautiful. Thank you. In Protocol, Sunday.
Highway, do you read me? Go ahead, DC. Highway, it's hit the fan. They grabbed Winthrop. Well, how in the hell that happened? Who was with her? I was. I let it happen. But we can't let her wind up like Dan Wheeler. Okay, just take it easy and tell me everything that happened. Winthrop was grabbed right off of one of our own elevators. We have no idea how they got in. Don, in broad daylight. Just sit tight, DC. Tell us anything you learned. I'm not even supposed to be contacting you. They don't want you back. Well, you got two chances of keeping us away. I think this is going to work. You're wasting your time. I know you, don't I? I worked for the government once. And now you're a hired killer, right? I had no intention of killing anyone. Oh, that's very reassuring to the Wheeler family. So... Where do I get mine? Miss Winthrop, if you don't resist, Then won't you won't have... do me any harm. Are you going to back him on that? Uh, we'll be glad to cut a deal with you as long as you tell us where George Kramer is. When do I get started? Hook her up. This is it. Minetti's ivory tower. Come on. necessary. Can I help you, gentlemen? Winthrop, where is she? I don't know any Winthrop. Let's pop a few holes into them. That'll jog their memories. Now you keep an eye on them, Jetto. I'm gonna have a look around here. Be my guest. Sorry, Manetti, but you're gonna be my tour guide. Well, I've sunk enough money into this place. It'll be my pleasure, but you better hurry. The police will be here in a few minutes. All right, Miss Winthrop, you know the drill. I'm going to take you back through your case file. You probably pre-programmed yourself with the defense program. It won't work. Bug off. Even if you subvert the facts? Well, we'll finally find out. And we'll just have to use more chemicals. Yes, and then you'll give me more lethal doses, and I'll die. There's an initial electrical shock. Tell me about it. We're now in line with your brainwaves. The witness, George Kramer, where is he? I have no idea. And that's the truth. I don't know what you two are hoping to accomplish, but I don't appreciate this kind of harassment in my jurisdiction. This is the last we'll be seeing of you two. The two side of you one, officer. Mr. Minetti has the same rights as any other citizen. Two men with badges should know that. Uh, Mr. Minetti's lawyers are obtaining restraining orders against the two of you. And I do believe his people have permits to carry weapons. Yeah, let's go, Jetta. Oh, why, we know she's up there. Yeah, maybe we're mistaken. Excuse me. I give those two guys credit. They got a job to do, and they do it. That's what I expect of you two. No problem, son. The doctor's machine will get the information out of the woman. The good old days. All we needed was a strong gut and a pair of pliers. The Stewart's method is more reliable. Well, you got one night left to prove it. Find that witness, Kramer. Or you're going to wind up in the same shape as that last guy on the machine. You were asked to assist the witness protection program in moving a key prosecuting witness against the Minetti crime family. Why did they come to your unit? What is its specialty? D.C., 
DC, any news? Well, Highway, you're the news as usual. What do you think you're doing taking Minetti head on? You know a better way? The old man is fit to be tied. We're not worried about the Admiral. It's Winthrop we're after. You wouldn't be holding out on us, would you, DC? Mm. Best I can piece together, your abductors opened up an emergency elevator shaft access in the basement. Thanks a lot, buddy. We'll check in later. Look, Highway, you stay away from Minetti. That's a direct order from the Admiral. Over and out. Yeah, we know we're going back there, but how are we going to get in? Same way they got into our building. I love it. How are they? As well as can be expected, sir. For your own information, we've had a problem. They grabbed Winford. Well, it's nothing for you to worry about still. I understand. All right, I'll check back with you later. Good. Something's happened. Sir? I'm all perfectly safe here. George Kramer was an accountant working out of Florida. He had no idea that his firm's accounts were dummy corporations by organized crime. When he found out, he wanted protection in return for turning state's evidence. What was your unit's primary responsibility? To help relocate the witness. That is, if we could find him. You had to find him? In between the time that he came forward and we were to pick him up from a safe house, panicked and fled to Mexico. Now we're getting someplace. This sounds like something that spineless turncoat would do. And what did your department do when he ran? I had to get him back. I had to send our best agent. He was so wonderful. He knew that he was supposed to kill me. I, I, I can't understand her. She's slipping into unconscious recall. It's coming up on the screen. I had to send our best agent. And who is that agent? Just what is it that's so important that it couldn't wait? Highway, don't always be in such a hurry. I thought it was some kind of emergency, something to do with the uh, witness protection program. Can't you ever think of anything beside business? Hey, you're the boss. Why don't we go away for the weekend? Are you crazy? We're breaking Kramer out tonight. How long will that take? You're only moving him out to the lake. I could go on ahead and you up at the lodge. I really messed it up. I was so infatuated with the highway that I dropped the ball on Kramer's protection. He had a near miss. Got frightened and took off for Mexico. I had to get Kramer back. But I couldn't tell Highway the truth. That it was my fault he ran. I told him all he had to do was get inside and get the information from Kramer that we needed. That he could just walk out with it. And his testimony would get Kramer released. She told you, but she lied. If you don't break me out of here, I'm a dead man. And it's your fault that I, I'm in here. Why isn't his face clear? I, I, I can't tell if this is Kramer or not. She's resisting. It's part of her training. But the facts are identical to those that we got from Wheeler before he died. Yeah, and if you would have been playing footsies with, with the boss, I wouldn't be in here. And they wouldn't have found me out, and I wouldn't have had to run. Almost identical. Except for the affair she seems to be having with the highwayman. Sooner or later, we'll get to the truth. Well, if it weren't for you and that bride you work with, I wouldn't be in here getting tortured for the numbers on Manetti's bank accounts. You telling me Winthrop lied? Well, believe this. If you don't break me out of here, I'm a dead man. He was so magnificent, and he was very forgiving when he found out I didn't tell him it was all my fault that Kramer had been jailed and tortured in the first place. Let me remind you, anything she says could be a prepared scenario. Naturally, there were things he wanted to know about why he had to risk his life. 
Annie. This whole love affair bothers me. Threw me over here. Mrs. Shoulder. Cisco, I've got to warn you again. This whole romance thing might have been fabricated to throw us off the track. I struggled to get down. I didn't know what he was going to do. He just carried me over to a fountain and threw me in. Highway! Highway! No one treats me like that. No one. That's why I love you so much. We're so right for each other. Give me what I need. Never mind all this lovey dovey dribble. Get to the part about changing his face. Yeah. All right, right. Right away. When Eddie wants to hear about the operation, We're going in secrets, which he volunteers is far more important than what we tried to do to verify Wheeler's testimony. Minetti wants to hear about the operation now. Winthrop, George Kramer was moved to another location. Your field men told the doctors they had 10 hours to perform surgery in the back of a certain vehicle. Ms. Winthrop? What surgery? In what vehicle? Don't try to hide it. We know there was an operation when you were moving Kramer. Mm, operation in a truck? Oh. Oh, yes, I, I remember an operation. What is it? His vital signs are dropping. We're losing him. What happened to George Kramer? I don't remember. We're going to turn up the juice so that she can't play with us any longer. All right? Oh. Oh. All clear. Bought some things that'll save us some time got heat detectors and motion sensors. And if you find anything, use these. What do you want me to do? Write him a letter? Pocket communicators. If you find anything, you can reach us on these for backup. <laughs> the only backup I need is right here. No, we split up, Jetto. DC, you and one of your agents come with me. We'll take all the even number floors. Jetto, you and your men take all the odd number floors. Right. You two act as sentries. If anyone comes onto the floor, use your communicator channel to reach the rest of us. All right, let's go. Now then, Miss Winthrop, the witness, George Kramer and his family, where are they hidden? Mm. All right, all right, now it's coming in, now we're, now we're getting somewhere. Think, Miss Winthrop. Where are they hidden? Uh. Trucks. It has something to do with trucks. There's Kramer. She's beginning to crack. Dodge Daytona. When you look at its long list of standards, its 770 protection plan, when you consider that Daytona is $346 less than the Ford Mustang LX hatchback, we think you'll agree. When it comes to price and performance, it's gotta be a Dodge. The Dodge Daytona. Just $89.95. Now get up to $1,500 cash back on Daytona models in stock. This cold medicine gives you 12 hours of relief and comes highly recommended by pharmacists.
But what 12-hour cold medicine do pharmacists recommend even more? Drixoro, the pharmacist's favorite. Take a nice cool dip, take a real refreshing sip, take that wholesome dairy goodness on a trip across your lip, with the treat that treats you good, ice cream. Real dairy goodness, that's ice cream. So treat yourself to some real wholesome fun. The treat that treats you good, ice cream. The Highwayman. Sunday at our house, a search for treasure could dig David into danger. I'm afraid they might be in serious trouble. I'm going to call the police. Then on Family Ties, a new spark in the Keaton marriage may burn them out. They're adorable when they're asleep, aren't they? And on Day by Day, can Eileen take the pressure of a heavy romance? Yes. Come home Sunday. For the first word on what's happening in the Tennessee Valley, look to Channel 3 live at 5.30 with Tamara Lister and David Carroll. Look to Live at 5.30 for cover story, a look behind the headlines. For the first weather forecast of the evening, for news of new medical breakthroughs, for insights into what's happening with today's youth, and for what's hot in the world of entertainment. The news that makes a difference still begins live at 5.30. I believe in a triple standard. One for girls, one for boys, and one for sisters. It's two-on-one when the Keaton sisters take on Big Brother. Look, guys, I may be only nine years old, but I'm a person, too. That's the thing about girls. They never fight fair. Ow! You dug your nails into my hand. Oh, did I? So sorry. And now you've got a ringside seat for the Battle of the Siblings five times a week on Family Ties. He's so cute when he falls apart. <laughs> Family Ties, weekdays at 5 on Channel 3. I'm Paul Barrett. Rain or shine, I'll have your weather tonight on Eyewitness News. Let me through to Kramer. Hello. How are you holding up? Just, just a little nervous, sir, that's all. It's only a matter of hours now. Yes, sir. And that's it. Thank you. I don't think there's any, any way in the world they can find us here, sir. You need to use too much solution. University Medical Center, Miss Winthrop. The body was taken there. Somebody went there to identify the body. Oh, the medical center. That's right. Yes. Did, did you identify the body? Of course. Tell us about it. Since this is the first human dissection that many of you will have observed, I must warn you that I will not tolerate any manner of disrespect. These were, after all, people. Remove the sheets, please. Hold on. I'm a federal marshal. And just what is the meaning of this? For reasons I can't reveal, this woman does not believe that her husband is dead. You'll understand if we allow her to verify his death. She's verifying everything we were told us. Yeah, but it looks different. Neither of them were actually there. They both read the same report and have entirely different visions of what it looked like. But the outcome is the same. 
That's my husband. She's lying. It, it, it all just looks different. The guy looks different. She couldn't know what he told you. You let her with your questions, and I asked you not to. Now she's trying to conform her image to Wheeler's. Forming her memory to what she's hearing you say. Now stay out of it, or I won't be responsible for the results. And I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to turn up the juice. You're both missing the point. That face on the screen, back it up to the first one. Now punch up that first agent's testimony. Put the pictures together. It's the same guy. Now, both these people have tried to tell us that he's dead. Why? They've been programmed to make us think he's dead. They're deliberately leading us away from him. Like maybe he's the most dangerous one if he would fall into our hands? Well, the trial is 12 hours away. We don't have time to go out and do a sweep and pick up another agent. I know. Keep working on this one. And turn up the juice. Like everything else. I gotta show people how to use their own damn fancy equipment. If I could only get my hands on that agent that they're trying to shield. Time for a floor check. Just fine. Have a nice evening. You too. I can't suspect anything? I don't think so. Winthrop, we want to know about Kramer. Where, where is Kramer? Good. She's back to Kramer. He's alive and she knows where he is. Jet out of highway, do you copy? Highway here. Jet, will come in. I may have been spotted by a guard. In that case, the cops will be here in no time. We have a few more floors here. Where are you? I just left the 11th. Okay, drop your men off and meet us on the 14th. Right. Mr. Minetti, we got intruders. It's those guys from before. I wanted to warn you before I called the police. No, no, don't call them. I've got other plans. Now make sure you stay away from them. Boys, we just got the break we've been waiting for. Get him over here and strap him in. Turn on the juice, Doc. We're going to find out about George Kramer one way or the other. Where's 
Marchetto. He didn't show. Where's your men? Still searching the floors. Come on, let's go. You're thinking about your mission to hide George Kramer. We gotta get the bloke out of Mexico. Good, fine. That's good. Start there. He got himself thrown into a prison in Mexico. Detention center. High security detention center. He's a guard to kill him. But I sure don't like the looks of all these armed guards. Let me go in on pulverize him. Looks awful dangerous. Yeah, mate, as usual, I'll handle the dangerous stuff. You think you can scale that fence? In a single bound, mate. Okay, you go first. I'll wait out here until it's safe. Go on. Anything like the prison Winthrop described to us. You have to remember she was describing it from a report. This agent was actually there. This is the real thing. Remember, if there's any danger, let me go first. Hey, I, I really appreciate you always protecting me, General. My pleasure. That's what I'm here for. Makes us look like piano teachers. Is it over yet? It's okay, you can open your eyes. Thanks for protecting me, Jedo. I'm used to it. What are buddies for? <laughs> this guy's full of more than just drugs. We don't need to know how they got him out of that Mexican stir. What we gotta know is where they've got him now. Turn up the juice. Yeah. Great, you got it. Manette is getting impatient. Jolt him. We just got started. Jolt him! Where are they hiding George Kramer? Bye, gentlemen. Oh, well, good. We're finally getting somewhere. That happens to be Admiral Conti, deputy director of the whole damn shooting match. If he was in that room this morning with that warboard, that's the key to the whole operation. Yes, sir. Ask about the map. Right. What was going on in that room? What was on the map? Part of activity. Sure is. Goodbye, gentlemen. See the board, Jetto? I saw it. That's a big operation going down and leaving us out. The April must have had his reason. They got Kramer in one of our rigs. How do you know that? The light. I saw the light in the middle. They've been driving him around in circles till dawn. Oh, good. We finally got it. You heard? Yeah, I heard. Nice work. Good. Can I finish them off now? No, 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 no. I want you to find out everything they prepared for the trial. Even without Kramer, they may have some tricks up their sleeve that we don't know about. Right. I've got a job for you two men. Sir, breaking into a Justice Department elevator is one thing. You've got electronic IDs that you took off those feds? Take a man over there. It's the last place on earth they'd be expecting you. Yes, sir. Zito. Yes, sir. Grab a few men. Right. We'll prepare the Kramers a welcoming party they won't forget. will continue. The Whopper tastes better than Big Mac. Yes, it's true. Why, why, why?
because the taste was made for you. In a national taste Whoa. test, three out of four preferred the taste of the Burger King Whopper over the Big Mac. And they do it like you do it on, on your backyard, backyard barbecue. Three out of four said the Flame Royal Whopper tastes Whoa. better than the Big Mac. We bet you like Whopper too. We, we do it like you do it when we do it like we do it at Burger King. Everyone asks. Corinthian leather. Of course, why not the best? It's the same with our new Chrysler New Yorker. It gives you everything. Powerful V6, anti-lock brakes, front-wheel drive, rich leather, 770 protection plan. And Chrysler's exclusive crystal key program. Complete car coverage with owner care that's even better than Rolls-Royce or Mercedes. Chrysler New Yorker gives you the one thing you always wanted in a luxury car. Everything. <laughs> The only thing more exciting than Turbo Hopper is Aero Turbo Hopper. The hottest off-road action you've ever seen. It leaps into the air because its radio control goes anywhere. Do anything. Fun and speed. Yahoo! Over rocks and through the mud. Real turbo racing action. You just hit the turbo power to make the pass and win. Aero Turbo Hopper and Turbo Hopper. Only from Tyco RC. How many reasons can you think of to watch the Saturday Night Comedy? Three good reasons. No, there's four. First, the Fax Girls clown around. Then 227 Sandra gets around with John Houseman. Holy smoke. Then Golden Girl Blanche fools around. Holy Toledo. And on Amen, the Reverend finally comes around. Holy mackerel. Saturday. An American tradition continues when the Red Sox face the Brewers or the Cubs meet the Pirates. The memories are waiting. Saturday. Good highway. We tried every floor. They just aren't in this building. No, they have to be. We know Jetta was here. There's got to be a floor we missed somewhere. Wait a minute. Could there be a hidden floor in this building? Like where? Like there's no 13th floor listed. It's old-fashioned superstition. Almost no building has a 13th floor. Yeah, what if this one does? Let's say a 14A or a sub penthouse. How can we find that out? Well, we. We could time how long it takes to get from one floor to another. If one should take longer than the others, then we might have something. Good, let's do it. Your relief should be here any minute now, gentlemen. I want you to know that I appreciate this long shift. Looks like we have this thing on ice. Green! Who in the hell are you? For the welcome committee. We're here to greet Mr. Crame and his family. Never heard of him. And I guess you won't mind if we look around a bit. <laughs> We're gonna lose him. He's starting to spin off. Keep going. Why? You've learned what you needed. Why put them through any additional trauma? Mr. Minetti will decide when he's learned enough. Our agreement. It was only for the location of Kramer. Oh, so call your lawyer. This is too much, much medication. can do it. He'll die. Exactly. Now, let's find out what might have been discussed at the trial. It just took eight seconds to get from the 12th to the 14th floor. It only took four seconds to get from 11 to 12. Good, so there is an extra floor. How do we get to it? Let me see what I can do. Go, 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 go
No, no, I don't want to be in no dream like that. Enough. Empty the jug into him. <laughs> and I brought tongue. Minetti's orders. Kill him. Seems like one of your little trucks is lost. Can't seem to figure out where it wants to go. Patrol. Strictly routine. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure you hang out here every night, Admiral. I have some instructions for that truck. And I'm only going to relay it once. I want them sent to that location. Otherwise, I'm going to kill everyone that's here as well as a certain Miss Winthrop. Put me through. You have a new destination. Everyone that's been watching you on our surveillance cameras, including the people you came here to kill. Look. Interrogation room. Right here in this building. You folks okay? Admiral wants to know how you are, George. Just fine. Just fine, sir. So, do you simply want to give up? Or are you loyal enough to Manetti that you're willing to die for him? You're trying to say this whole thing was a trap. <laughs> a counter trap. Yeah, get out of there. It's a trap. Grab my bag. Those imbeciles blew it. Call the chopper. Tell him I'm heading for the roof. The highway man will be right back. AT&T, and soon this is where you can call with the worldwide network of U.S. Sprint. All the same places you can dial direct with AT&T, but with one major difference. You'll save on every single international call you make, no matter where in the world you call. So call Sprint now, because even though we'll go where AT&T goes, our rates will still be worlds apart. Suddenly, there's a whole new development in sports sedans. So superior, it was voted Car of the Year in Japan. Introducing the new 89 Galant from Mitsubishi. Suddenly, the obvious choice. 
Next on Night Court, watch the legal eagles soar like turkeys. The stunt of the century. And on Beverly Hills Buns, Hollywood wants Norm. Come on down, Norm. Then on Miami Vice, a mistake on death row. They're going to kill somebody that I sent up. There's something I'm not sure he's done. Tonight. Monday. Sensational Real Cases on Unsolved Mysteries, hosted by Carl Malden. You may be able to help solve the mystery. After Valerie's Family, Monday. A chopper better be here. Hey, what's going on in here? Why are we going down? You! Surprise. Hey, what's going on here? Hey, Dr. Stewart, would you like to do the honors, please? Highway, what are you doing? Well, we're going to find out everything you always wanted to know about the mob. But we're afraid to ask. Allow me. I know just where to stick it. Stop him! The guy's crazy! He was returned to the States in a coma. Just you and me, Jeno. You've done something to him. I know, Jeno. He would never stand. Oh, he's gonna kill us! And when you find him, I want you to kill him. Is that understood? Yes, sir. Good morning, America! This is your wake-up call! Sunday, come home to our house when David finds a treasure map that could lead him into danger. Then on a touching family ties, the Keatons learn a lesson in growing old. And on Day by Day, Eileen is filled with colorful fantasies when she falls for an artist. Then it's the network premiere of Goldie Hawn's smash comedy, Protocol. A wild and wacky adventure into politics and intrigue, Sunday.